Hi, this is Gilles, Radio Proper. Why should you get your amateur radio license? Do you really need one? The question should be, why not get your amateur radio license? It gives you a lot of rights and access to a lot of bandwidth. And in the US, you only pay about $15 just for the test and your license for 10 years. And then you can renew that for free. And it's not that difficult. It's really easy. The technician license is extremely easy. Just a few formulas to remember and, you know, frequencies and things like that. Uh, a little bit of theory about antennas and propagation and useful stuff anyway that uh, really you should know when you're using a radio. Then you have the uh, general license. Now I'm talking about the US. You have the general license, which gives you access to a whole lot more frequencies. And finally, extra which gives you access to everything. What I suggest everyone to do is, you know, just get one. Uh, you can't just buy a radio and say, well, you know, when the, it hits the fan, I'm going to set it up and use it because it's not going to happen like that. Uh, there's a learning curve. It's not a big one, but there are things you need to know and there are things you need to practice. It's like playing guitar. You know, uh, you can read about how to play guitar and you can have a guitar in your closet but the day someone, uh, you know, you have to bring it out of the closet and play a song, you're not going to play a song. And while radio is not quite like that, you have to learn to use your radio and you have to learn which bands work at certain times and how to cut an antenna to the proper length and, and how to uh, place it. And uh, I mean, there's so many things to know that you can't simply hope that you're going to have a radio and you plug it in and boom, you're going to talk to people. So do study for your license, you know, there are free materials online. Uh, you can find uh, free uh, practice tests on qrz.com. Uh, you can get everything for free. Now for people who like to have a structure and, and follow a class, I'll put a link down here below and you can use the uh, coupon Radio Preppers with an S, Radio Preppers to get 20%. But you know, that's up to you. Uh, it depends on how you prefer to learn. What I did is that I wanted to, uh, I didn't want to be only a technician. So I thought I would just buy the three books. So I went to the ARRL and I bought the three books. I bought technician, general and extra. And you know, the books have about 15 chapters and all the chapters from all the books are about the same. So the first chapter is about the same subject as the first chapter in the general book and the extra book. What I did is that I started to read chapter one from the technician book, chapter one from the general book, chapter one from the extra book. And every day I went up one chapter. So it took me two weeks. Now it took me quite some time, guys. Uh, it's not something you want to do if you're tired or you don't have enough time to read and do some exercises and really study and do some practice tests. So probably I spent about maybe three hours a day. Uh, for, for two weeks. But it allowed me to uh, go to the test and uh, they'll let you try to pass all the tests. I didn't think I would pass extra uh, because there's a lot of material, it's a little bit you know, more complicated and uh, the formulas are more involved and there's a little bit of math and uh, I didn't think I would pass that, but, uh, but I did. <laughs> I got the uh, technician, they said, do you want to try a uh, general? I said, bah, yeah, uh, I was pretty sure I was going to get the general, so I, I passed that, no problem. And then they asked me if I wanted to try extra, I said yes. And uh, I was surprised I got extra also, so uh, that's really what I suggest you do. You try to get those three, or at least two, technician and general, the same day. Because otherwise it's just, you know, you're going to forget, you're going to have to go back to it later, you're going to lose time, you're going to lose money, uh, you have to drive back to the test facility and, and do it again. It's not efficient, you know. At least, at the very least, get technician and general. A lot of people never come back. They get the technician license and then they forget about it. And they go on to a local repeater and they, you know, have a few conversations and of course, you know, a couple of months later, they think, well, this is boring. I, you know, I don't like radio. I'm not going to get the general. Well, guys, it's not the same. Technician is a very, very tiny part of amateur radio. And a lot of people also forget that they have privileges that they don't use. Like they, they won't use two meter SSB or they won't go on 80 meters and, and do Morse code. And uh, there are things you can do, like 10 meters. Uh, 
uh, there are bands you can go on to with your technician license that you know people are not using but getting general at least you know is the, in my opinion the minimum to be able to use hf and all the bands on hf so do that don't think that you know you're only going to be able to pass technician because general is very pretty much the same just a little bit more material but it's not much more complicated guys don't stop at technician get the general as well and if you feel like it you have a little bit more time study for extra you know if you if you don't get it you don't get it you know you're not gonna you're not losing anything you actually you gain a little bit more knowledge even if you don't have the license to go with it but it's not going to be wasted time and that's my advice to you get your amateur radio license have a good one